Hey everybody, Miss K here. I'm sitting outside. We just finished replanting some of our seeds that we started. We did um, bell peppers, peas, what is that? Bell peppers, peas, green beans. Um, yeah, so, and these are from seeds that we saved at home. Like our bell pepper is, um, I'll turn around and show you a second. So, um, something that we just like, we're just eating on and we just, we'll see if we can plant them and see if what happens, whatever. So we stuck them all in these little starter boxes, starter uh, containers. And um, I'm gonna show you what happened. Yum. All right, so we just turn this around. And it's a, it's a mess up here, but this is where my kids are starting all their plants and doing all their little projects here, so it's a mess. But I replanted most of them yesterday in the ground because there were so many of them. But this one was a little slow, but you can see it is starting to it sprouted up. This is our bell pepper, right? I think this one's, yeah, these are bell peppers. You see that? They're looking good. My kids did pretty good. Okay. And then this one is tomato. We started that one. Look at that little cutie guy over there. It's so little. It's, it's struggling, but it's trying. And this one is also tomato. See, look at that. And we're going to try, and I mean, you know, in Alabama, the, the season is a little bit longer because the weather is better than where I came from. So we're going to see if we're going to let them grow outside and then we're going to bring them inside so we can try to see if we can have tomatoes year round. Which one is this one? Oh, this is another tomato. Another little baby. Oh, he's coming up. All right, now these right here. Oh, wait, here, let me show you these. I was digging up um, space to put my bell peppers in and look what we found. This was like about four or five feet away from where I actually planted the potatoes. And these were from potatoes that were in my pantry for a really long time that started to get a little, uh, you know, get the eyes all over them and look really rotten and messed up. And I just threw them all on the ground. So there you go. That's a good size one right there. And that was, but the other ones were probably a little bit, a little bit smaller than this one. But I took this one out. If I had kept it in there, I think it would have gotten bigger, but I just decided to cover the rest of them up, bring these inside and we will eat those. But these I'm pretty proud of right here. So this is our, uh, which one is this one? Peas, yes, no, 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 beans. Yeah, these are the beans. So I had them in like these little pots right here. I had them in these and they were right next to each other, the bees and the peas. And I noticed they were starting to vine together. So I was like, uh, okay, I gotta separate them. So I got this giant container here, this pot. And I just put some steaks in there, the tomato steaks. And then just tie them around with some cord. I really didn't have anything more than that at the time because I just needed them separate. So they're, still, they're trying to hey, move over. Give each other some space. <laughs> All right. See, this one's already, it's getting comfortable up there. I think they look pretty, pretty good. So hopefully, we're going to get some beans. Hi, little guy. Excuse me. <laughs> and these are the uh, peas. So they were really starting to connect to everything. So I was like, okay, I gotta be really delicate with those, separating them. But they look so good. Several plants. Now in the bottom of this is, oh, we got some more. Some more starting to grow in there. Look at that. I put all of the, the bed of this is cilantro. So I had a horrible time growing the cilantro in the ground. So I'm gonna try to grow it with 
the um, peas and the beans. Eh, we'll see what happens. It's kind of down that I didn't get any um, good cilantro this year, but I'm going to try again. But I did want to take a minute to introduce you to our new little family members. Yeah, come over here. Those are my babies. We have four quail. We had ten, but the other ones are deceased. They were kind of like really, really tiny and they were sleeping on them and they just really had didn't thrive very well. But these, as you can see, they're pretty, pretty strong and they're getting pretty big pretty fast. So, and then here we have our two little ducks there. So we have to, we take them out every night, clean out the cage and let them swim in the little baby pool. It is so, so, so cute. So that the which one is this one? The one that's standing up is Niebert, and the one that is laying down is Lily. So uh, yeah, don't don't ask about the names. Niebert is still weird to all of us. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna walk out here. Hey, little guy, are you coming? Yeah. Come on, watch your feet, okay? Come on. Hi. It's hot. Okay, well you stay there, okay? Yeah, it is pretty hot up here. All right, this is our blueberry. Poor thing. It's it's still it's still growing, but it stopped producing. It produced just a little bit. The kids, every time they saw one, they ate it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. No more blueberries. I'm probably gonna have to bring that inside. This is our basil. Our little babies. We started those about a month ago and man I mean look at that stalk that is really really doing well this one I don't know there's so much sun up here it's struggling my um, citronella plant but I don't know <laughs> it's working on, it's a work in progress all right so this is my crazy overgrowing herb garden so this is fun because like this piece right here is an onion that we were eating at home and we just cut half of it and then put the other half in the ground just to see what happens and this is what happened. The red onion started to grow. We got some basil in there, some oregano, chives. And this one, these are my favorite things to grow because they are so easy. Every time you go to the grocery store and you get those green onions, don't throw it out. Just stick it in the ground. And there you have it. You can see my poor little suffering tomato. I keep, every day I have to take it out of the, the sun. It is just frying up here. I water it. And this whole area is pretty pretty new right here. So it's, it's still thriving it's struggling but it is producing but it is struggling like this one when they start getting bad like this I just throw it and let the ducks eat it because <laughs> I have a whole family of ducks what are you doing buddy all right so here is our little this is their little duck pool so they just get in there they Bay, they swim around and then at the end of the day we dump the water and uh, if, when they're all clean and the cage is clean we put them all back all right so I'm gonna take a walk down here as long as my son is in a good spot <laughs> I'm gonna show you the garden out here I haven't had a chance to really walk through the garden with you guys and show you what I did this has been since, uh, let me see, January I started digging this area out. And she is doing amazing. Like, this is my first time really doing this. Like, I've planted trees before, but this is crazy. You see our watermelons are doing this little one hiding under here. I really hope we get some good watermelon my sage is doing great my rosemary this is my chocolate peppermint right here 
this is my um oh the basil no no sorry bell peppers that my son ate and threw in the garden <laughs> and that's what happened um this is my dill which smells so good i love dill oh got another little watermelon under there all my peppers i'm getting peppers like crazy and i usually i don't these really crazy hot peppers i don't just eat i dehydrate them so yeah all right i'm trying to see if i have any okra that i can show you i got some here they're not ready yet but i am dying for some fried okra so y'all better hurry up seriously oh we got some more here trying to come up these i got some more these are um more squash are they cute my collard greens i'm telling you something isn't some bug is enjoying my collard greens i tell you i have to cut them quite often because they just keep trying to eat them and my sweet potatoes are everywhere that poor tomato completely died but see these are i have okra and potatoes over here so let me see if i can walk around hold on buddy i have to let my dogs poop over here because i have a problem with deer and armadillo and last season when i tried to do the garden the armadillo and the deer literally just ate the tops off of everything so I had no peppers, no tomatoes. So since I've been letting my uh, dog poop out here, um, it kind of sounds gross, but I took my son's diaper and, and hung it on the side on a stake. <laughs> and now the, the smell, they don't even come over here anymore. So very happy about that. And I got some crazy okra over here around my potatoes. Mm, look like I'm about to fry me some okra for real. Look at that. They look really, really good. And it's funny, they, they're like two okra plants, but they are very different types of okra. And I have to see if I can remember what type of okra. All right, my basil and my amazing parsley tree, I call it, because it's huge. But now I'm just, it looks like it's dying. I'm just producing it now for seeds because most of the parsley that I would make tea with is um, really not that great. It's kind of bitter right now. So, but if you can see, okay, see how all these seeds are starting to grow. So I'm going to leave it, I'm not going to cut it anymore. And I'm just going to take all these beautiful seeds that are coming up and replant. Look at all that, tons of seeds. But let me show you, hold on buddy, what I, what I keep telling you about these onions, look at this, as long as they're organic, if they're um, like any chance that they're GMO'd or anything, it's not going to grow. But look at, I mean, look at the stalk. This is, this is amazing. And this was from one that we ate and just stuck it in the garden. So let me get in here. So you know. Look at that. My zucchini is so pretty. We've already snacked on a few of them. Look at those blossoms. I haven't cooked the blossoms yet, but I think I'm going to because I have so many. So, there you go, guys. It's time to start becoming sustainable. Do what you can. Start in your house. Um, it's really not that difficult because I have never done this in my whole life <laughs> so you know I've planted little things at home you know had my herbs and stuff in the house and but on this scale I'm kind of kind of proud of myself right now <laughs> so you know if I can do it you can do it just find you some space in your you know patio in your your uh, garage anywhere and just try to start growing some food and learning how to do it Ooh, got some more watermelon trying to grow yay 
All right, so you guys have a wonderful day and let's get growing, become more sustainable because God knows this country seems like we're going to hell in a handbasket right now. <laughs> All right, y'all take care. Love y'all. Bye.